have fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And those of you that may be cross-watching, welcome to your tarot messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what are the blessings that are coming into your life next. Okay, so what are some of these big major changes that are coming in for you? Um, it is going to be a general reading, guys. Um, please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed below. I also want to mention that there's going to be a part two to this reading. And in part two, we are going to follow on with the messages and uh, explore those messages perhaps in a little bit more detail. So to access part two of the reading, please uh, visit the extension link, which is going to be provided uh, for you just below the video. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look and see what are some of these next major changes or blessings that are coming in for you guys. So this card wants to come out. Three of Swords doesn't seem like much of a blessing, does it? Wow, you've got the King and the Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is something coming together for you in a very profound, in a very powerful way. Um, the Three of Swords situation, um, I'm not going to ignore that. Whichever way you read it, it's not necessarily a hot... Um, a blessing is it right it's emotional anguish it is distress it is heartbreak but what i see for you especially with the eight of cups and the hermit here and the two of cups with all of these energies the six of wands your healing okay which is very powerful for you here so for those of you that have been um experiencing heartbreak if you've ha had if you've been experiencing heartbreak grief a loss I see that you are putting yourself onto a journey of healing onto a journey um, and onto a path of wellness you're potentially healing some emotional trauma that has been stored inside your energy you're potentially healing some heartbreak or some wounds that might still be festering um, here's the thing I feel like you've been carrying the weight of this pain for so long that now you're able to confront it Okay, you're able to confront whatever this pain is for you. And now you know that if you can, if you allow to, you know, if you allow for this wounds to keep festering, it's just going to bleed onto everything. So you know that there is some sort of situation which needs to heal. And for a lot of you, um, you're on this healing journey. I see that you're with your soul and your energy here. You're... This is like, you know, you're on the road to recovery. You're on the road to wellness. Um, you potentially could be embarking on a spiritual journey, um, an emotional journey. You potentially could be walking away, find yourself walking away from anything or anyone, any situation, any relationship, um, any friendships, any personal relationships that no longer serve you or that don't serve you positively. Perhaps situations or people that you simply outgrew you're no longer going to shrink yourself in order to stay in those type of relationships you're no longer going to tolerate um, some of this pain or this abuse that you've been experiencing for a lot of you I do you know with the with the three of swords um, I do see that there is healing coming in for you and you're open to it a lot of times people get so comfortable with the pain that whether subconsciously or perhaps even consciously, they don't want to heal it because there's such a familiarity with the pain. I know it sounds a little bit strange, but um, for people who have experienced rejection or who have grew up in a very unstable, unhealthy emotional environment, they continue to seek out those patterns in relationships and later on in life because not because it feels comfortable. In fact, it feels uncomfortable. But it feels familiar and you're no longer you know you're no longer wanting what's familiar because what's familiar hasn't been serving you so 
Um, there's so much healing. There's such a strong healing quality and there's a such a strong healing energy to this reading. And in healing your wounds, you're ready to embrace what lies ahead of ahead for you. And what lies ahead is um, an absolute beautiful journey. It's a journey that is filled with new beginnings, that is filled with abundance, uh, prosperity, uh, your manifestations, your intentions. You've come up as both the king and the queen of wands in your reading. There is always something that something that little bit extra special receiving both a king and a queen in that in the same suit. Um, it's it's almost like magical and it reflects the actions and feelings and the emotions of your energies as well as your person here. The king and the queen represent high energy, okay? It represents passion, it represents excitement, it represents plans. I'm seeing that you're you're pushing yourself. You're pushing yourself to do better. You're pushing yourself to be better. Um, and in the process, some people you will take with you on this journey, okay? Remember how we spoke about this journey of recovering, um, which is going to transition you and um, which is going to essentially open up the doorway for a new chapter a new beginning um and some people unfortunately you will leave behind because these people won't necessarily understand the journey that you're on okay they're not ready to evolve they're not ready to grow they're not ready to heal so some people unfortunately you will leave behind but if you stay if you stay with these people you'll be staying in that same spot that you wanting to leave behind so it's absolutely important that you move forward here with your own journey and you will be and I see that you're both the king and the queen for you are this perfect balance right with the two of cups um, you're going to become I feel like there are a lot of people that are coming into your life a lot of new energies some of which you're going to become romantically emotionally intimately physically or spiritually involved with okay it also the king and queen also represent certain aspects of your personality that that are coming out the, you know the fun loving you the carefree the energetic spontaneous you okay that energy is coming out to play i feel like your light has been dimmed you somehow you know due to the three of swords here you somehow allowed for others to dim your light but you're taking back those parts and those traits of you if you're a female listening to this then you are the queen of wands get ready to invite the king of wands into your life okay so this represents a man or a masculine energy who shares these traits with you okay and who's responding to your energy if you're a king of wands then on the flip side of the coin get ready to invite a queen of wands energy or a feminine energy into your life again someone who shares this individual shares the same values and you know is going to take um, quite a romantic interest in you. You're coming into alignment and you're also like you're inviting people and um, certain situations and opportunities into your life that match your energy. Okay, so um, someone who feels very, you know, this person or these situations are attracted to your energy. You're in alignment. So we have things coming together for you. So you potentially can have, you know, there's a new relationship on the horizon, a new romantic interest that is coming into your life. Again, this person is matching your energy. They're matching your vibration. Um, they're matching where you're going. And they're, the reason why you're attracted to each other is because you're on that same wavelength. You're on the same path. Had you not been, you would not have attracted each other. Perhaps this is something Someone that you're already with but I but I see if passion has fizzled out between you and this person that you then you're reigniting that spark okay the both of you are realigning your paths or re, reigniting um, your spark you're you're leveling up and at this level up I feel like it's it stems a lot from this heartbreak or it stems a lot from some of this emotional distress or anguish that you've experienced especially with the three of swords situation right every dark cloud um, behind every dark cloud there's a brighter day right and these dark clouds that 
gather here this is only temporary so you've done the healing you've also done the less the learning some of these lessons had for you and to me it feels like you're now ready to move okay you're now ready to move into the next into the next and new chapter of your life into the next uh, cycle or phase of your life and i see that you don't mind leaving certain people behind because you know that you know this is you're living your life I'm also seeing there's so much clarity in your energy, especially with the Queen of Swords. And because of this clarity, you're, it's like you know where you're going, okay? Whereas before, you might have been a little bit confused. It's like you're taking back your power, you're taking back your identity, your individual self. And everything. it all had this heartbreak or this anguish that I see for you. You're recovering from that and it's fueling you. So you may have... You may have gone on this bit of a journey or you may still be, you know, on this hermit mode type of journey. But I feel like this part of the journey you had to do on your own. Um, the next part of the journey is when I see a lot more people coming into your life, like a lot more energies. And I see that you're, it's this attractiveness. I don't know if it's because you're um, having a complete makeover Okay, and more people are attracted to this new look, this new, your new style, your new sense, and they're responding to that. If it's your energy, you just shifted energies. Um, it, and I feel like it's also alignment. You know, you're lining, you're coming into alignment with your intentions, your manifestations, and the universe is responding to that energy. So in part two, we're going to explore some more of these manifestations that are coming into your life and more of this romantic energy, the one who is your match. Like this person is exactly what you want from out of a partner and they'll give you exactly what you want. I mean, could you ask for anything better? Um, we'll also see what other opportunities you might be attracting and, you know, at the, overall, what is what is exactly coming together so nicely for you? So follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below. Um, thank you guys for your time, your energy, and your attention. Bye.